Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks Some More, the backup channel. How you doing? Uploaded a video yesterday on the website, hugotalks.com. They are coming for your house. Too spicy for here. Check it out if you missed it and be sure to subscribe to hugotalks.com to get updates on all the new videos when I post them, as many are now not uploaded here on YouTube. So yeah, there's a big Oh yeah, there's a, oh, you, you're gonna love it. There's a big music live special festival thing coming up. Jennifer Lopez, Foo Fighters, Selena Gomez to perform on Vax Live, the concert to reunite the world. Set for May the 8th on ABC, CBS, Fox, and YouTube. Reunite the world. I wonder if that live special will be hidden on the YouTube algorithm? Or will it appear on everyone's home page? It's inevitable, isn't it? It was only a matter of time before we would see a big live music special about all of this. It says here, SoFi Stadium in Inglewood will play host to an all-star concert that will be broadcast and streamed worldwide as part of a global effort to inspire confidence in the jib jab and encourage people to be inoculated organizers announced today. Why didn't they do this before? Oh, I get it. It's because they are starting to give out the jab to a younger age group, the 40s, the 50s, that type of age group. So who is on this? Now it's organized. It's organized by Global Citizen. Who are they? Well, there's some big organization that has on their board of directors a Sarah L. Calamarino, who is the Vice President, Corporate Equity and Partnerships of Johnson & Johnson. Hmm. And here we have a Daniel Green, who is the Senior Advisor for Policy, Advocacy and Communications at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So who are these sellouts? I mean, sorry, I mean celebrities at this prestigious event. So we have Selena Gomez, who, yeah, she comes straight out of the Disney production plant. One of those child stars that are manufactured like Britney Spears or, or a Justin Timberlake. And very fond of doing the old uh, little, oh look, I'm playing peekaboo symbol. And then we have Jennifer Lopez. Blech, and Eddie Vedder. That's the guy from Pearl Jam. What's the big secret, Eddie? Shh, don't tell anybody. And then we have the Foo Fighters. Dave Grohl, oh look, he also does the peekaboo thing, like Selena. And, oh, he's got a secret as well. She doesn't want to tell anybody. Dave Grohl was the drummer in Nirvana. Good drummer, for sure. And then Kurt Cobain, he died, of course. And I wonder what Kurt Cobain would make of all of this. Probably turning in his grave, I reckon. But you know, Dave Grohl, of course, a year after Cobain died, came out with the Foo Fighters. And well, he went on to big old success for all this time since, which I guess, you know, wouldn't have happened if things hadn't gone the way they did. So when was the last live music special? Oh, I remember that was the One World Together at Home. What? All Together at Home. You remember that? That was exactly, that was a year ago now. That was a year ago. I think it was April the 17th, it says here. Lady Gaga was there. Eddie Vedder was also on that one too. And Elton John, he did a song wearing his rose-colored spectacles. And it was, it was so bad. Did you see him singing? Oh man, it was dreadful. The whole thing really was dreadful. And it was hosted by that Hollywood actor, Matthew McConaughey, who, he did an interview recently with Jordan Peterson. I mean, what happened to Jordan Peterson? He was calling out all of that nonsense with the gender pronouns back in the day. And then he got sick. And then he came back and he's like a different person. He doesn't even talk about the whole situation going on. I mean, he's supposed to be an intellectual who speaks about current issues and now doesn't say anything about what's going on in the world. I mean, what is happening right now? I mean, it's only the biggest thing to happen in our lifetimes. And Jordan Peterson hasn't got anything to say about it? No, but now he interviews Hollywood actors like Matthew McConaughey about their books and interviews Russell Brand. I mean, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but anyone who thinks Russell Brand is for real is going to be sorely let down in the future at some point. I've said it before, you don't get promoted by YouTube 
especially if you're a celebrity saying the things he has been saying unless there is a psychological bait and switch reason behind it. If he was for real, his videos would not be turning up in your recommended. It just won't happen by accident in this climate. And how can you even think that when you see how universally all of these celebrities are on board with all of this? You shouldn't even be questioning their authenticity anymore. It just shows you can't get to the position they are in unless you're part of the old peekaboo club. Okay, that's my thoughts on the matter. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com. I'm giving the site a little bit of a spring clean. I'm doing it up a little bit. I want to form a community of people who think for themselves, who are not afraid to speak out, who are not mainstream media-led zombies, a network where you can find support from others who have the same mindset as you. See you later.